Hey everyone, John from Performance Part Out here. Uh, today we got a pilot bushing from Paul Volk at Volk Metalcraft. And I'd like to discuss uh, some of the things that Paul did to um, improve the, the OEM design and show you some of the differences that he did. Um, the first thing that you notice is that it's made of stainless steel compared to the OEM one, which is this uh, mild steel which rusts and, and is very soft. And these will get stuck in the crank very easily and they're a bear to get off. Uh, these stainless steel ones that Paul is making, um, you'll be able to slip them in and out of the crank no problem. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you here is the inner diameter here where the torque converter rides on. Paul brought that out closer to the torque converter to help it align uh, earlier. And let's uh, let's check fit here. We'll talk about fit. So here's a torque converter. So that fits really nice. It's not loose, it's not too tight, it's a perfect slip fit. And I've got a 2G7 volt crank here. Okay, perfect. Not too tight, not too loose. Perfect slip fit. So this will come out of this crank 20 years from now just as easy as it's going in today. Because Paul used that stainless steel. That's good. Same thing with the 6 bolt first generation. Not too loose, not too tight. Perfect slip fit. And again, here's a shot of that inner diameter where that torque converter nub is going to ride on. That'll be good. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is this step back here, and this is the difference between the 2G 7 bolt and the first gen 6 bolt is the step back. Uh, Paul designed this to use with both applications, and the main reason why they changed that step back is because the depth of a hole on the crank is different. So when you're using OEM parts, like I'll just stack some uh, spacers here. When you're using OEM parts, if you don't have that the proper step back in there, your your big 19 millimeter um, hardware is going to be hard to get a socket on because you don't have that step back there. So Paul designed this to work with both to have clearance for for OEM and aftermarket applications. And I've got uh, I've got a Kigley foot plate here. You'll see that fits good too. Okay. So this is this was a good design. Paul did a good job on this. This came out nice. And you can see the Kigley flex plate fits nice on there too. Alright. So these are gonna be released soon. Good job, Paul. At Volk Metalcraft.